I hope you've got your paint brushes ready for this week. Behind me here was last week's painting and yeah, you probably sort of noticed I was a little bit disappointed at the end of the painting. This really wasn't sort of working. I had this vision in my head of these triangles at the bottom, but they really didn't turn out how the picture was in my head, which is a little bit odd. And this is gonna happen sometimes, you're gonna create a painting and think, no, this is not what I was hoping for it, for it to turn out. I mean, it's not that it's wrong, it just wasn't the vision that I had in my head for this particular piece. So anyway, let's put this one behind us from last week. It's a new week, it's a new painting. I'm gonna take this one down and we're gonna get straight back into a new painting. There's the brand new canvas up on the wall. We're gonna keep this one simple this week. We're either gonna do like a seascape or a landscape type of painting. And we're gonna try and create like a bit of a big sky as well. So on the palette, I've got an absolute load of white paint. You can probably see that on that camera. And I've also mixed up some Payne's Grey paint there, but I've mixed it up with some PVA glue as to that little tip that I talked about last week. All right, let's get some paint onto the canvas. We've got quite a bit of paint on there, most of it's white, and now we can apply some of the dark colour over the top whilst it's still wet and try and create some dramatic sky effects. So paint's grey, I'm just going to go in and see what we can come up with. of burnt umber and some yellow and I want to try and create a little bit of a cream colour that it's coming down into so we're just going to introduce a bit of cream into this sky So I've naturally got my light source in here and I want to extend that light source into like a gold colour. And then we're going to try and stick a bit, a bit of a, a landscape horizon in there and then into the foreground. So I'm just using pure metallic gold in this sort of area. And I just want to plonk that in and where I sort of see that light source being. Just put a 
putting that on the edge of the palette knife and just dragging it uh, out as well. Right, next up we want to I want to put a layer in sort of below this light source. Uh, so I've just cleaned my palette off. I just want to get some of this gold color away. Um, so I'm just scraping that off. All right, I've got some uh, pure Payne's gray on my palette knife. And I just want to sort of create a thin separation between the light source and this foreground. laid out your terrain I'm just going to get the palette knife and I'm just going to scrape down from that now that I've got the harsh horizon line in there I just want to sort of soften the bottom of that it's a little bit too harsh so just picking up on some Payne's grey and some white and I just want to go over the, over the top of it but also hit, hitting the bottom of it. Okay, so what I've done there, where I had that real harsh line, I've added in a lighter tone below it and sort of reduced that thin line just to, very, to the very top. And now that gives you an element of depth into the piece. So the next phase is I'm gonna add a bit of atmosphere into this next level. So that's gonna really be consisting of quite a bit of white and back into some of that cream. I'm just gonna feed that in. And then I just want to pull that up into the grey. And then just under that light source, I just want to splash in a bit of heavy white. Okay, then under that I'm mixing up um, some blue yellow and some Payne's grey and we want to really try and get another element of foreground in and I probably want to take it a little bit lighter 
picking up on some white just at the very top of that. light source again here so just want to pull some paint across there I just want to blend some of this colour in this side. Really had some fun painting this one it's a cross between a seascape and a landscape i think i still need to work on what's in the foreground sort of going through into the background but at least i gave it a go and that's what you can do at home so i really love the sky and the light source coming into the horizon with yeah this sort of hill type landscape going on but most importantly you can give this a go at home yourself don't just watch me paint i hope i've inspired you to pick up a paintbrush and paint onto a canvas. Don't forget, place your comments down below. Give this one a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like this one. But if you're into your abstract painting and some of your landscapes and seascape abstract painting as much as me, then YouTube is suggesting your next video to watch right here. Until next week, have a great week and I'll see you in next week's Flowworks. Hey.